all right guys so today is a rainy day you know yeah rainy day not doing any fishing today at all at all so i'm just taking this opportunity now to show you guys how i come up with my sand spike because a lot of you guys been asking me to make a video on how to make the sand spike right it's pretty easy and i think i came up with the idea because i look at something more portable to travel with not something to wow water dropping with this not something cumbersome and, and hard to travel with because you notice I travel I do a lot of traveling and do a lot of surf fishing you know so I wanted something to fit in my bag so I came up with this idea I see people make sand spike all different kind of way they make it with uh, they use like a piece of PVC pipe and cut it slant beat it down to the ground they might use a piece of PVC pipe put a piece of steel on it and strap it on and then beat it down I used to do it like that and it's very cumbersome very hard to travel with all right so i came up with this idea to make a sand spike that's very portable small enough not very big you can make it big if you want but because i do so much traveling i want to make something very small that i can travel with right and it's also sturdy and strong so i come up with this idea and i'm going to show you guys how i come about doing this right quick 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 thing i'm going to show you right now right so let's go outside in front of the van right right beside the van i don't need to go anywhere to do this this is very simple i have all the tools here i have the drill i'm going to need a drill i'm going to need a few tools like this to tighten the um bolt in the, in the in the thing there first of all you're going to need this right this is the pipe piece of pvc pipe and you cut this pipe like 13 inches you can cut it more if you want you can cut it longer if you want depending on how you're going to travel with it but i want to travel with this in my bag that's why I do it very small, right? So, then you're gonna go to the hardware. This, I cut this 13 inches, an old piece of pipe, as you can see. Then I go to the hardware, and I buy this thing here, you call this a clean out adapter, inch and a half clean out adapter. This is an inch, inch and a half pipe. Inch and a half clean out adapter, see there? You go there and ask them for that. They might ask if you want the plug, this is the plug, right? So, if they ask if you want the plug, yes, you want the plug. So you want the clean out adapter, which is this inch and a half PVC. Then what you do when you cut the pipe, what you do, you're gonna, you can use a coupling. You know what is a coupling already? You can put it onto this and push it onto the pipe. But I never do that. I want something more portable and light, lightweight and stuff to travel with, right? So what I did, I just melt up on the fire, on the stove. I just did it a while ago, right here. And just push this in this, right? So this is what I have right simple as that you guys seen that right you just you can pull it off back here, see there? you can just put it in there like that after you melt it you heat up the, the plastic you push it onto it right and then uh, you, have, you can use tangent but you know they're not using it in any water like pressure like you know pipe drain pipe or something i'm going to use some crazy glue just to hold it on or some shoe glue just to hold it in place, alright? But before I do that, alright, I'm gonna bore here to put in the steel. You're gonna need a piece of steel like this. This is any kind of steel it is, corrugated steel or smooth steel, any steel, but half inch, you have to use half inch, very strong. Don't use three eighths because it's gonna bend up on you. Okay? And then you get somebody to weld on, a welder to weld on a nut and bolt on top of it like what I did with this this is this not really a piece it's a piece of steel I got this at the this one is um I got it from my second it works somewhere and then I get these long bolts right they're very long I just cut it to 10 inches 10 inches is ideal I don't want it any longer I think this is about 14 inches and I cut off some of it make it to about 10 inches 10 inches I want right this is 10 inches this from here to here or you can use a piece of steel cut the edge at an angle 
and then cut it to all the length what you want and well a nut and bolt on top right you get a washer you can screw it off the nut off the bolt see there put the washer on and that is what you have right there now what you're gonna do now is get a bit which is this is a half inch bit I think this one is a three eighths so we're gonna use a three eighths first Right. And it's going to bore right here. On the top of this in the plug, top of it. Right? So this is what you have there, right? Make sure it can fit. It can't fit in there yet. But I gonna let it fit in there. I want it, I want it to fit close. So, what I do, what I do, what I do. Ream it out a bit. Still can't, still can't fit. Well, a little more. Alright, I want it to fit. Close. I don't want it too slack, so that's why I'm using it. I don't want it too slack, that's why I'm using a smaller bit. Just to fit it close, like this. See? Right, this is it now. See so that? That is it. Then I'm gonna put on the washer. Put on the washer, then you put on this not right on top of it all right this one look kind of lean but um then you're going to tighten it now all right so make sure it's very tight here. not too tight because you're going to break this don't be too tight all right so i'm going to get a pliers and hold it put it in place and tighten this thing but not too tight tight to go and burst it that's about it all right that's about it don't go too tight you're going to damage it and then screw it onto that so what we have here see that very easy screw it onto that then you're going to glue it into this now all right you see that you see that? And that is the sand spike. Right Pretty easy, alright? Water dripping right here, so no matter. <laughs> it no matter. You're not watching the water, I'm watching what I'm doing. So, what I do now, make sure that this thing, you don't have to use plenty you now, just a little to hold it, right? So, I just do something like this, that's all not doing a lot right just like that and then you just that's, that's it that can't come off again you know see it wipe off the excess that's it and that's it it's pretty easy pretty simple see there that's the sand spike, all done. All right? But remember, when you're putting these in the sand, don't beat it down in the sand. Use your hand and turn it down in the sand, just like what you see I do. Now, this is sometimes I do like this. And down, down in there, um, you see, I, I move it like this down in the sand. Yeah, you work it down in the sand. You don't beat it, because if you beat it, you're going to damage this part of it. And you don't want to damage here. So if you damage here, you're going to have to make over the whole thing. All right, so, see there? That is a sand spike. When you're storing it, you take this out, turn it around, and screw it in. See there? And this is how you store it and you travel with it. This, see that? Just like that. This can fit in your bag, in your knapsack, and you don't even know that nobody can tell that you have a sand spike in your bag or two sand spikes. Alright? So, 
be a story like that. When you're ready, you screw it all back like this. Turn it around, screw it up. Here. And you stick it in the stand. Fish, when you finish, screw it back out. And then you spin it around and put it back in like that. You can store this anywhere you want, in your bag. Right? Just like that. But remember, you know, guys, remember. Remember, be careful of this thing here because if it fall off and it's drop on your foot, that's sorry for you. If it drop this way on your foot or anywhere on your leg or anywhere, you go and pierce it. So be careful when you're putting in these in the sand. Don't make it drop out of your hand. Don't make it fall out of your hand. Alright? Remember, be careful. But this is it. You can spray it if you want. And I'm going to spray this one. I'm going to spray it in a pretty color. Wait it. Yeah. Make it look different, don't you think? Yeah, man. But this is the basic idea. Right? You can also make it like this, you know. Right? Get the same PVC pipe and do it like this. But this is the first one I made, but I found that this one is not working properly. You know why? Because this thing tends to get slack. See there, look at this. See there? You just draw it out of the sand. So if a fish pull it over, him draw it out. Him go on with the, go on with the rod and everything. So I found that this one is not sturdy enough. So I started making it like this one. Right? See that? If you wish to make it like this one, it's much easier. You know? Same procedure, same nut and bolt, but you buy a cap instead. PVC cap. Bore it, screw it up the same way. And you just push it on like that. But after a while, this is what's going to happen. See that? You just fall off like that. And we don't want that. So that is basically it guys. So guys if you like the content you know don't forget to like share and subscribe alright always press that notification bell so I hope you guys learned something from that alright so that is how I make my sense fight so as always man, thanks for watching, alright? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.